Hi Pisces, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. If a message isn't for you, leave it for someone else. You can check your other signs or check back next time. Okay, wow, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So you got passion coming into your life, Pisces. Very soon. Clearly decide what it is you want so that it comes to you now. So you're calling in a soulmate. We have attraction here. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So it looks like there is a passionate connection coming to you very soon. But you got to get clear and decide what it is you want out of this situation. That way you're going to be able to make the decisions that need to be made when they need to be made. I'm getting some really fun and flirty times ahead for you, Pisces. So let's see, who is, who's coming towards Pisces in love? Who's coming towards Pisces in love? Who's coming towards Pisces in love? The Seven of Pentacles? They want to invest. This is someone that knows how to nurture and care for a connection, okay? Uh, your guides are wanting you to have faith that this is coming in. This is somebody that when they invest, they fully invest. This person does not half invest. And they know that relationships, especially in the beginning stages, but throughout the entire relationship, that you need to water it and nurture it. Okay, so you have a well-seasoned person coming towards you that knows what they want. And they know how to grow a relationship. They know how to court and give to something, right? Could be an earth sign coming in Pisces for some of you. We have Sagittarius, Temperance. This is someone who is well-mannered too. They have a lot of discipline and restraint. They're very balanced. They're, they're really a patient kind of love. Like this is a, a patient person. Emotionally mature and balanced. But also there's a lot of passion that comes off of this with the passion card and temperance. There's a lot of fiery passion that comes off of this person. They know how to get what they want by gentle means. And then this is the kind of person that knows that they need to be romantic with someone and court someone and make someone feel special in order to deepen the bond. And I'm also getting like their character with the temperance card. This is someone who wants peace and harmony. They want a harmonious relationship. They want a relationship where there is equal give and take. One where they can express their emotions as well. Friendship. So it's a connection that's going to be a deep friendship. Not only a romantic partner, but I feel like this is someone who wants to get to know you. What do you like? What do you dislike? What are your passions? Okay. They want to be friends first. So, you know, you see them as the three of cups. You see them as someone that you love spending time with. They bring a lot of joy to your life. This is someone that you're going to really love dating. Because they're very expressive. I'm just getting this person is very expressive very open-minded and, and they, they show interest and they make you very happy. And again, I feel like this person is going to be very much so interested in getting to know you on a friend level as well as a romantic level. Like there is a lot of passion here, but it's like, they want to like you. 
before they love you, if that makes sense. They want to make sure they fully know who you are. 360, right, with that Three of Cups. I feel like this might overwhelm some of you. Four of Swords. I saw the Four of Swords in my head. That's why I said that, Pisces. This talks about feeling overwhelmed. I saw it in my mind's eye. So I feel like you're going to feel very overwhelmed by this connection. What I love about this person, Pisces, is they really give it, they give you a lot of emotional supports and they give you a lot of clear indicators that they're super interested. But then Four of Swords also being like, they make you feel like you are given enough space to fully think about everything. It's kind of like, again, the Seven of Pentacles. This is someone who is well seasoned. This is someone who. They know how to properly take care of a relationship and they know how to properly start a relationship. And so it's like, I feel like you're going to be getting just enough space from somebody, but not too much space to where you're not sure how they feel because the three of cups, they're going to show you exactly how they feel about you. And this might make you overwhelmed, right? Because it's kind of like that passion, that love that you've been trying to attract into your life finally coming. How do they see Pisces in the future? Four of Wands, Three of Swords in reverse. So this is someone who's going to be seeing you come back to life. This is someone that I feel like is going to actually watch you heal from things. And what I mean by that, I, I feel like you, you might give this person some sort of sign that love has been very difficult for you in the past. Maybe you have a conversation about this or you are just coming across as someone who is uh, super guarded, right? And it's like right before their eyes, they see you slowly open up to it. This is someone that's going to actually watch you completely heal or, you know, finish up the last stages of your healing and your mistrust for love because they do see it. There's a glimmer in your eye, Pisces. There's an energy around you that they can just see you falling in love because they're also falling in love with you. And so it's kind of like they see with their own eyes, you slowly opening up to like, they're going to see you reach a milestone in your healing with that Four of Wands, the Three of Swords in reverse. And I feel like that's why you two may be super friendly first. Like, you guys are going to be interested in connecting on a friend level. And what I mean by that is, like, truly knowing what each other likes. Truly knowing who each other is as a person. And they do see you start to drop your guard here in the future. And that makes them very happy with the Four of Wands. Kind of like the wounds of your heart closing up. How do they feel? King of Cups. Very passionate about you. How do they feel? And I do feel like that's um, with the Temperance card. This person is trying to have patience with the connection because they want to fully gain your trust. And so that's another thing that they see happening here in the future is that you know, you go from being, you know, not trusting to starting to trust them. And the four of wands, that's going to make this person incredibly happy because that's what they're working towards. They're working towards gaining your trust. Ten of pentacles for their feelings. They feel committed to you. They feel, you know, like you are a life partner. They want to be, build, they want to build a beautiful life with you. And, you know, this is just them feeling content. Okay? This is them feeling content. King of Cups again at the bottom of the deck. They feel like you truly understand them or that you two truly understand each other in the future. This is beautiful. 
What do you, what do they want from you, Pisces? What do you want? I'm hearing sweet nothing. They want, they want nothing. That's a song. Sweet nothing. If you want to go listen to it. What do they want? What do they want from Pisces? Let's see, what do they really want from you? Okay, what do they really want from you, Pisces? What do they really want? Okay, why that? Why the Seven of Swords? It can mean anything. I'm definitely getting something about exposing some secrets here. The Tower, the Seven of Swords for what they want. They want to um, crumble your, you know, disbelief. I feel like you're, you may have a conversation with this person in the beginning stages of the relationship where someone, where you tell them someone had betrayed you. Uh, some of you guys will talk about a betrayal. And, or, or, you know, there, it's just clearly obvious that you've been betrayed. And I feel like they want to shatter that reality. They really want to crumble that reality where you have this idea where everyone betrays you. Some of you guys, um, especially if you just recently met someone new or, you know, this is your future love, it feels like you may express some type of betrayal that happened. And I feel like you are making it very clear to this person that you're not interested in being naive to anyone, that your eyes have really been opened to the betrayals of the world and to how people can truly be. And they want to shatter that reality with the tower. They want to show you that not everyone is going to stab you in the back. They want to show you that not everyone's going to betray you. And they want to show you that most importantly, they're not going to betray you. Nine of cups, the fool. Two of Cups, Two of Wands, pers um, Ten of Wands, sorry. Ace of Swords. So, you know, it looks like it's going to take some work, though. <laughs> they know it's going to take some work to shatter that belief of yours because they do see that, you know, you've been hurt pretty badly. What do they like about Pisces? What's their favorite thing about you? Your awareness. Knight of Cups, Four of Cups. They like your awareness. Um, I'm also getting like they like how you're a dreamer. They, they like how you show passion for things and you go after what you want. Uh, Four of Cups mainly though. They really like your awareness. You also give off this impression that you don't really chase. You attract. With that Knight of Cups, the Four of Cups. That like... Whether they put that into words or not, like I'm not saying they're, they're, they say it that way. It's like this person likes that you don't chase, you attract things to you. Kind of like through patience and love and things like that. But it, it's really your awareness for things. Your emotional awareness too. Um, a lot of you guys are coming across as someone who is very emotionally intelligent and emotionally aware. And I feel like that's their favorite thing about you. The way you make them feel comfortable. We have the Six of Pentacles for their next actions. To give their energy, to give their time, to give a gift. This is someone that's going to be pursuing you. Okay, and their next actions are to give to the connection. Nine of Cups. This is someone that's, that is going to give you whatever it is you want. I feel like you're attracting this into your life. You're manifesting this. This is a wish. This is a dream come true relationship for you. They want to give you whatever you want. And they're happily doing it. It's not a struggle for them to give you what you want. Let's see. What does Pisces need to surrender? What does Pisces need to surrender at this time? What does Pisces need to surrender?
It says surrender, denial. Accept people in situations exactly how they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. And so again, there may be someone here from your past Pisces, okay, that really did deeply betray you. And your guides are really wanting you to not be in denial about that. However, also, you know, understand that, uh, you know, loving another person does present difficulties. There's going to be difficulties. And I feel like knowing that you won't always be living in bliss, but also realizing that, you know, just because you're not living in bliss with this new person, it doesn't mean that they're betraying you. Um, but there is an energy here to some of you guys needing to not be in denial about a situation from the past that may have shattered you, this person that betrayed you, because they could be holding you back from experiencing a beautiful new love. Again, that's only for those of you that are in denial or you feel like you may be holding on to someone that really stabs you in the back. It says surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. So what do you tell yourself, right? At the end of the day, what is it that you're telling yourself? What is it that you're actually truly manifesting? And it's the beliefs you have about yourself and other people that manifest your reality for the most part. wanted to touch base on this past person for you. Uh, so there is someone from the past Pisces that does regret lying to you, but your guides are not wanting you to be in denial about that situation. Okay. To see it clearly, make sure you take off the blindfold to it. Okay. And accept this person in situation exactly how it is and don't deny who they are or what they did. Uh, and that message isn't for all of you, but just take it if it resonates. And I hope you got some clarity out of this message, Pisces. Until next time, bye.